What's up, y'all? I'm Zakari, and all eyes are on me because right now is my time. I've, I've really had a musical family. So my dad, he played drums, and my mom plays drums, guitar, harmonica, she sings. She used to be in rock bands. So um, I always grew up in a musical home. My mom taught me guitar. And then I took that to my church, where I played guitar and I sang. I led my youth group, and then I led the, the main church at one point, too. And I also played saxophone for high school, too. So music's always been a huge part of my life. Yeah, so in Alaska, I mean, right out of high school, I just applied to like all these different national parks and literally only applied to national parks that had wolves. And nobody got back to me except this one lodge in Alaska and Katmai National Park, it's called Brooks Lodge. And um, I was dishwashing. And then by the next summer I was cooking. And then the third summer I became a guide where I took people fly fishing and looking at bears. Yeah, man, it was a big inspiration in my music for sure. Like just taking my guitar out there and writing and you're, you're pretty cut off from the world and the internet and all that shit. Like we didn't have internet unless you wake up early and you go use the computer in the office for like 20 minutes. No phones or anything like that either. So it, it's, it's really like a new focus when you're out there in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you're not distracted by anything. And um, that's also where the whole wolf thing comes from as well. It was, my, it was like a specific experience I had with the wolf out there because you don't see them much because there's so many bears so they don't come around the lodge much but I finally saw one and I thought it was a bear at first because it was so big and it was by itself and usually when you see these wolves by themselves they're usually sick or you can see they're like struggling and the whole thing I got from that is like this wolf was like the perfect image you could think of a giant like mythical creature wolf and we stared at each other for 10 seconds and he ran away. So it was just like, it was like a positive side of loneliness. Cause I'd seen the wolves, the lone wolves, and they just didn't look healthy. And this guy looked like he was just out there killing it by himself. So he figured something out. 
and that was the whole inspiration for the EP and the whole the whole idea behind Lone Wolf. It's not like a dark side of it. Like Lone Wolf sounds dark, but it's not meant to be, from my perspective. So yeah, Run Wild Run Free was is my first project we put out, and it was a long process. But I was lucky because I had met my manager, and he had put me in the position to go into these studios. He put me in these these studios, studio, studio, just trying to get my sound right. And just having that in general out here in LA is a big thing. Just giving a space to work and just left alone to to practice and create your your sound. And that was one thing that I um, definitely had to go through the first year or two, just trying to figure out what kind of sound I actually wanted to present. Because the main thing is when you play something for someone and they're like, oh, dope, that sounds like da da da. Oh, dope, this sounds like D to D. So my goal was to get to a point to where people weren't able to say something like that, to where they would be like, damn, this sounds new, this is original. And yeah, so I did a lot of that in the basement of this dude Craig's house. He let me stay there for free. I was on couches and floors. And then um, I moved out of there. And then um, a lot of the songs got done in Schoolboy's backyard while he was on tour for Blank Face. So shout out to him for letting me use his yard. He had his big ass dogs back there too. So we'd have to go through the gate, the side gate to get to the back house studio and go through his dogs every day. Me and Teddy Walton were locked in every chance we got over there. But when I first made the love uh, with Kendrick's song, like that song had a long process. So first I had made a really shitty beat and I recorded the hook to that. And then me and Teddy were working in Q's yard and he's just like, yo, T Teddy told me to like, <clears throat> Just play ideas you have and we'll see if we can rework them. So that was when I played and Teddy literally just went over my beat like in the stems in the session. One of those stems on that song is just my full beat just tucked back. So yeah, he made that shit knock. And then um, <clears throat> Musa, my manager, set up a session with Kendrick because he had already, Kendrick had already heard me on What's Wrong with Isaiah Rashad. So he, he let me in the studio. We played him some of my music and then Love wasn't even really done yet, so I didn't really want to play it, but Teddy was like, yo, Zach, just play that shit. So we played it, and man, he got really excited. The next day, he asked me for the stems, and uh, it was a wrap. <laughs> yes, ever since then, man, it's just cool to see people like look back on some of my old music from then, too, and be interested in my EP. You know, Kendrick really gave me the chance to like, he just put me out there and now he's giving me the opportunity to um, showcase my talents and my music and my writing. And that's a revelation that I went through recently. Like the past two years, I think I've just been listening to like rap music and radio. So I finally like gotten back to my roots with the guitar and my songwriting and all that recently. So yeah, I'm really excited for the new stuff as well. The energy from the EP to this album definitely goes up a notch. Um, I've been starting with a lot of guitar, playing a lot of guitar, and um, inspired by like 80s synths and stuff like that, and then just trying to make it urban in a way. So it's trying to find a good balance between 80s like synths and rock and making this new kind of sound that work. I'm always trying to make something sound new. So we're combining different elements and working but the energy is definitely up it's like definitely some festival shit man it was crazy getting signed because to tde because first of all i'm a fan of tde before anything and you see everything from the outside so being inside this like close-knit independent label is crazy because you realize that on the inside of the label it's really just friends and family that grew up together it's um it's awesome because we don't deal with a lot of the fake industry shit. It's all very real. Everything is kept real with each other. And um, it's just awesome meeting even the, the artists. All the artists are amazing. I can come to any of them for advice and help. And um, I just learned a lot from watching them. You know what I mean? Because when I first got out here, I'd never been in a studio, never been recording. So I always pay very close attention to all the artists around me and learning from them. I'm Zakari, and you're tuned in to Ones to Watch.